Hey guys, what's up? It's your friendly neighborhood artist here, ready for the final drawing of this Galactus piece that I was working on. And I'll link the uh, previous video on it, the inking process, which was really fun. But what you see right here is I've got two different sheets, two different copies of this because I'm not exactly sure how easy the coloring is going to be and I didn't want to mess up the original. So when you're working with markers, there's no going back and I just thought this would be a safer alternative to what I usually do. What I'm trying right now is on the first sheet on the left, I have some purple colors and I think they're going to be too dark. So I just want to try out the dark purple against the black and it looks so close to black already that I'm going to have to work out something different. Well, I don't have a lighter purple, but I do have this bluish gray periwinkle thing. So trying to layer the markers is actually a really good idea in this case. Going with the bright pink highlighter color and then I'm going to layer over the periwinkle color and it should give me a nice purple, hopefully, that I can use for the rest of this body. I don't want to waste too much time on my test picture, so I'm just getting the colors right and then I'll move on to the next section. I want to have this Kirby Crackle cosmic entity stuff be really uh, eye-catching. I really want it to stand out against all the dark black, so I'm going to gradiate some red on the edges and then go to orange to yellow. And these alcohol markers work really well for gradiating. I always try to start off with the darker color and then move with the lighter color on top of the darker color. The alcohol will kind of dissolve the pigment of the darker color if you rub it in enough. <laughs> That's what she said. But anyway, uh, these markers do actually blend really well. This particular image, if I finish it, is going to be mailed out as a patron reward for February and I'll put the link in the patron link to patron in the description so be sure and check that out and while you're down there looking at the description make sure you're subscribed make sure you have the bell on so you can get all the notifications of new and future videos some of these videos that I've been making are starting to get more views now and I'm actually getting pretty excited so I hope you guys like it as much as I like it and I'll keep on making them now uh, I'm going back with that pink highlighter-ish color of marker and some of the area looks perfect just pink as is but uh, I need to just double check some of the other things here. I want to make sure the pink and the blue works better for these uh, highlighted areas on the arm and like I'm sure you've heard me say before I'm going to leave some of the paper color showing through. I don't have a white marker, so the only way I can preserve this light area this is just leaving the white paper on there. Always a good technique to plan ahead before you do it. And it looks good. Coloring the blue over the pink definitely works. And we'll stick with that for the final piece. Now coloring this moon, I, I just went straight into it without much thought and I clearly messed it up. I just made a beach ball here. But my idea is if the background is going to be yellow, there's definitely going to be some highlight coming down on the bottom of the moon and then it's going to be like a darker blue color on the back. The red <laughs> was a total mistake. I, I really should have stopped now because all the blending in the world isn't going to take me away from this beach ball look. And you'll see that uh, I just actually take it just down to a straight black here in a second. Just putting more and more color. There's no way to save it. It's not like paint where you can paint over with an opaque color and see your new color. The markers, they all blend together and they all eventually become black. Which is, is just not going to work for this moon highlight. But I think I do have a plan here. I'm actually going to use more gray in it this time and go with the blue to the gray 
to the yellow and that should actually work out really well. So here we go. I'm going to do a time lapse for the rest of this video and let you guys see what the final product was. I think it's actually going to turn out pretty fun.